If you have an Aatrox running towards you about to die in League of Legends, it's not because he wants to give you a free kill, but because he intends to kill you and fully heal himself with the sword he wields. Legend has it that Aatrox mains, after being bullied in school, choose Aatrox in their imagination to bring to life what they want to inflict on the other side in the valley. The last thing you want to experience in the valley is trading with an Aatrox who can pierce armor. The feeling of realizing that you couldn't even damage him when you die in a few seconds is terrifying. Items like Morello and Thornmail are as futile as an effort to stop a weakened Aotrox. When a weakened Aotrox targets you, he will spread his wings and fly towards you, taking that life from you either willingly or forcefully. If anyone who sees this video doesn't subscribe, let them eat an Aatrox combo hidden in the bush. The worst thing that can happen to you in League of Legends is not having Shaco on your team, but getting the fourth shot from an Eternal Jin on the opposing team. A game with a cunning Jin on the other team consists of four steps. A level one fight followed by Jin waiting for his fourth shot, jumping to you to make a straight shot under the tower and getting a kill, Blitzcrank support without arms, giving Jin an extra kill. Jin hitting everyone on the map and Set, who died seven times in the top lane, typing different in the defeat screen. Jin mains have a masked assassin as their nightmare. And the answer to why Jin mains don't die but the assassin does is that the assassin is so meaningful that it makes you want to quit the game. Under this mask, there is more than just flesh. There is an idea, and ideas are bulletproof. If you still haven't liked the video while escaping from a Dark Harvest Eternal Jin at the Dragon Camp, jump to the wall and get hit by the fourth shot. You're determined to reach the high leagues you've been dreaming of for years, but it's sad that a seventh level set main will come to you and hit your head until your brain falls out, and you'll probably spend this season in bronze. Here is anime-sized Set, and a match with Set on the opposing team is challenging for the top lane, but a nightmare for a jungle. If you don't run away easily and gank, Set will curse at your sensitive values and write gang in the jungle, and he will apply the postman tariff that extends your path to both of you. Beating a Set whose head shines in a team fight will be as enjoyable as eating pizza and hot dogs. What are you waiting for? If you've watched this far, don't forget to like and subscribe. Otherwise, I can come up with one million Shakos against you. The biggest mistake you can make while playing League of Legends is not mispositioning or missing farm, but rather winning a match where a level seven Vagar main appears before you. In this scenario, there is a 1200 AP Vagar in front of you. Legend has it that Vagar main, having fed with mechanically demanding characters in every game, have sworn not to lose with the sudden anger that comes one night and have chosen to main Vagar. The biggest problem when playing against Vagar is feeling that your chances of winning exponentially with each passing minute. Whether you are a full magic with this Malphite or a Dr. Mundo with 10,000 health trying to tank Vagar's damage in the 30th minute, it doesn't matter. When a Vagar with enough ability power sets his sights on a target and presses the R key, the target leaves the battlefield in tears as if it were the first day of school. Vagar mains don't bother with unnecessary things like trying to win the game. What matters to them is how much AP they have stacked by the end of the match. 